Good afternoon, YouTube family. This is Leah Boone with Monarch Ministries. Welcome to the channel. Please like, share, subscribe. If you are new, if you are not new, please like, share, um, and like some more in your heart. <laughs> so, um, the Lord has been working on stuff with me and um, just you, you know it's there, there it's never-ending like the cleansing and, and the and the you know the purging and the you know I mean the consecration it's never there's an, it, we're human it's never-ending and but I'm just so I'm so grateful for the process and um, I love you Jesus thank you so much Jesus um, Thank you to everyone who has sowed a seed into this ministry. I am so, I'm just, uh, I'm just so blown away. I mean, after being homeless for all that time and, you know, I, I would always give what, what I could afford and it wasn't much. Um, but the Lord knew that and he, he saw that and, um. You know, I didn't see any fruit from that for a long time. He even had to tell me to stop sowing all of my money into people because I was sowing it into false prophets on YouTube. And I got, this was last summer, and I got into huge, I got into a huge mess. I get, I, I was, and I basically was spending all my money on sowing seeds because I thought that that was going to bring, you know, but they were false prophets, so there was no yield on it. So please be careful of false prophets on YouTube. Please test the spirit, including mine, in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, it is not something you want to get involved in. Um, it can wreak havoc in your life if you are um, agreeing um, with the words that they are putting out in the name of Jesus. So please be please be careful. Test the spirit with every um, word that you hear. Okay, so I took a nap and um, I had this dream and it was like, what is that movie? Martin Lawrence was in it. <laughs> I don't know why. I think I remember um, somebody giving a prophetic word up to Mark about Martin Lawrence that he needed to repent or something. Anyways, I drove right past him because I knew he was bad news. <laughs> That's hilarious. I just remembered that. So I was like, Phew! I drove right past him. So, um, yeah, but it was very, um, enchanted. And I'm just using that word right now because I was noticing the street signs, um, today. Was it today? Yeah, it was today um, as I was coming back from the store and it was like Enchanted, Granada, Tejano's Way, um, or something like that, <laughs> um, Star Dream, Fantasia, I was like, oh, yeah, for sure there's something going on in this city. I was talking to God, I was talking to Jesus, and I was like, yeah, there for sure is something off about this city. <laughs> but, you know, um, there's a lot of um, Spanish or Mexican culture down here, so um, a lot of them are, a lot of them are into Jesus, but a lot of them are into um, witchcraft and stuff. I mean, it's true for everyone. It's every, I mean, it's it's every. It's everywhere. You're, there's no, like, escaping it. It's everywhere. So, um, we, we fight. We fight with our prayer and we pray. And so, I've, I've been warring in the spirit. Oh, I even had to call the front desk because there was this man beating this woman up in the apartment next, in the, uh, not the apartment, the, um, the motel next to mine for all, all night. And I thought they were just, I thought it would just end. And I thought that was, I, then I start, but then I woke up and it was still happening. 
And so I finally called the front desk and I sent the police out. I was crying. I was, I was like, send your warring angels, send your warring angels. Jesus, I mean, it was horrible because I've been in that situation before. And if you've ever been in that situation before where you're um, in an abusive relationship, you know exactly what that feels like when um, the fight that you have gotten into with your significant other has gotten out of control and to a point of like no return. And um, there's nothing you can do because there's no one around. Um, you can't call the police because they've probably either taken your phone, blocked you from the phone, or broken your phone. And so, um, yeah, I called the I called the front desk. I'm not I'm not gonna just keep letting that happen. It was very disturbing to say the least. Anyways, I went maybe that was for someone. I just went off on a tangent there. Anyway, so I had this dream, and. You're going to hear a word. You're going to hear a prophetic word. And it's going to ignite your breakthrough. It's going to be like this aha moment. Like this light bulb is just going to come on. And you're going to be like, oh, that, 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 that's it. That's it. And you're just going to take hold of this impartation that's being imparted on you. This, this prophetic utterance. And it's just going to take root in you and it's going to lead you to a breakthrough of some sort, right? So in this dream, I was waiting for this word that was going to bring me this breakthrough. That's what the dream was. But there was also Martin Lawrence and, uh, uh <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, but then, the, then I was like, Jesus, tell me about this dream. And the Holy Spirit brought to my mind the parable of the sower. And I was like, that's it. That's exactly what this is. So you're going to have this moment, this aha moment. You're going to hear a word and it is going to ignite something in you. It's going to ignite. It's going to be the Holy Spirit igniting the fire of God inside of you and it's going to take root it's gonna be like this aha moment this light bulb moment it's the Holy Spirit it's gonna take root and it's going to ignite your breakthrough it's going to be the key to your breakthrough therefore hear the parable of the sower when anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it then the wicked one comes and snatches away what was sown in his heart this is he who received seed by the wayside. Okay, that's it, pretty self-explanatory. But he who received the seed on stony places, this is he who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. So we've all been there. We've all heard a prophetic word and been really excited when we hear it. We're like, oh yeah, that's great. That's awesome. Da, da, da. And then, okay, so yet he has no root in himself. So you have not built up your spirit, man. You have not been in prayer. You have not been reading the word, um, but endures only for a little while. This is why endurance is necessary for when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word. When you receive a word and you agree with the word and you stand in agreement with this other person for this breakthrough in your life, you better believe there's going to be some warfare that comes to oppose that thing that is going to come because of your belief. Amen? That's just how it goes. Immediately he stumbles. So this is the one who receives seed on a stony place. It's because he receives it with joy, but then tribulation and persecution comes. And then he stumbles. And he doesn't know how, you know, he doesn't, he's like, forget it, or you know, whatever happens. Now he who received seed among the thorns is he who hears the word and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becomes unfruitful. Okay, so this is like, for example, you hear a word um, about breakthrough money or breakthrough um, financial something and you get so focused 
on this this money and making this money and getting this like you come so become so focused that you lose sight of what is really going on the most important thing and that is winning souls for the kingdom that's being a servant of Jesus Christ and that's cleansing your soul you fall into sin you fall into this lust of the flesh and it ruins um, the breakthrough but he who receives seed on the good ground is he who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and produces some a hundredfold, some 60 and some 30. Okay. So I hope that helped explain um, this, the, this parable. This is Matthew 13, 18 through 23. That's Matthew 13. 18 through 23. Um, I encourage you to go back and highlight this, this um, parable in your Bible and read it a couple of times and really get it into your spirit, man. And um, let it take, let this word take root in your spirit so that you know and ask God for revelation. Take this word to him in prayer and ask him to give you more revelation um, on the parable of the sower so that you can be a good steward of that thing that he wants to give you. Um, I mean, that's what, you know, we're all working towards. We're working to be good stewards of what God wants to bless us with because he's not going to just send us something unless he can trust us. I mean, honestly, I mean, that's, that's the whole point of all the warfare and, um, him taking you down all of these like steps, like he's test. It's all, it's all, they're all a series of tests to see. You know, and, and it builds your discipline. It builds your um, trustworthiness. It builds the fruit of the spirit. It builds your endurance. Um, and it helps it helps you for the long haul because there's going to be things that he has planned for you in your future that you don't even know about yet. There are big things that God has planned for you that you have no, he hasn't shown you any. Because if he had shown you, you probably wouldn't keep going. Like for some of you, it's that big. Anyway, so you're going to hear a word and it's going to be like an aha moment. You're going, it's going to take root in your spirit, man. You've been praying, you've been seeking the Lord, you've been in your word. So you're going to, you're going to hear a word and it's going to take root and it's going to cause you to be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, I love you all so much with the love of Christ. Have a blessed day. Bye.